What's good, YouTube? You already know what time it is with me, man. It's your boy, man, Mr. Waves himself. Y'all feel me? Y'all feel me? Y'all feel me? We are back at it again, man, with another video, man, and it's about to go crazy, man. You see it, man. It's your boy, Jordan Lucas, man. I am not racist, man. Haven't got a chance to react to this video, man, but it got 136 million views, and I gotta see what it's talking about, man. Jordan Lucas has done some amazing thing with Will and other multiple videos, man. So, I just want to see what Jordan Lucas got to do right now, man. A lot of things going on. A lot of good videos coming out. A lot of great artists doing a lot of different things. Let's get straight into it. Let's get it. And let's go. You did. With all due respect, I don't have pity for you black niggas. That's the way I feel. Screaming black lives matter or the black guys rather be dead beats to pay your bills. Make America great again. See, that's crazy how he got that hat and the words that he's saying. You feel me? Like, that's kind of how they, like, making it seem like, saying, like, black people, like, like we don't, we don't do nothing, pretty much. And you don't, feel, like, we don't, we don't cause this, like, we cause this trouble on ourselves, but we don't. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Let's keep going, man. Yell a nigga this, a nigga that. Call everybody nigga and get a nigga mad. As soon as I say nigga, then everyone react. They wanna swing at me and call me racist cause I ain't black. Pound that then, talking about slavery like you was around back then, like you was picking cotton off the fucking ground back then, like you was on the plantation getting down back then. Alright. That's crazy. Cause that's that's literally how some people be thinking. Like how they how they be thinking, like that's their excuse for being racist. Like they that's their excuse. That they like they try to <clears throat> they try to explain it like that so it make it seem like they right. Like, bruh. It don't matter. They've been doing. We they've been doing this for years. Stop trying to, like, trying to like justify your point of being racist. If you racist, you racist. You don't like black people. You don't like black people. I love everyone. Black, white, yellow, green. It don't matter what color you is. Me. But don't try to justify by saying we wasn't being back then. We wasn't there back then. Like, bro, it don't matter. It's our history. It's our family. Like I've experienced racism. I have friends who experience racism. You feel me? So like saying, oh, he wasn't there back then. Don't make no sense. That don't even work because it's still here today. So I have experienced more than that. Just because I was in the slave fields, cotton picking and all that stuff. Don't mean he wasn't. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Look, I see a black man aiming his gun, but I'd rather see a black man claiming his son. And I don't mean just for one day and you done. I mean, you still trapped in a rut. I work my ass off and pay my taxes for what? So you can keep living on free government assistance, food stands for your children, but you still try to sell them for some weed and some liquor. Or a fucking babysitter while you party on the road, cause you ain't got no fucking goals. You already late. You motherfuckers need to get your damn priority straight. Wait. That's crazy. That's literally how they be thinking, man. That's literally how they be talking to us. How they be thinking like, oh, y'all don't take care of y'all kids? No, it's people out here who other than grown men who don't take care of their kids. But it's the environment that people are set in is how they react, man. You around for one word of knowledge, man. If you around, I was always taught this. If you get around four millionaires, you will end up be being the fifth. If you get around four broke people, you will end up being the fifth broke one. You dig what I'm saying? And it's the environment we live in. You are you become with your environment, man. Some people make it out, some people don't. But damn. Really? It's like you're proud to be fake, but you lazy as fuck. And you rather sell drugs and get a job and be straight. And then you turn around and complain about the poverty rate. Fuck out of my face. You can't escape problems. You can pray for some change, but can't break a dollar. Got nobody else to blame, so you blame Donald. He fucked the world with a Make America Great condom. My boy's been back. I'm not racist. My sister's boyfriend's black. I'm not racist. My sister-in-law's baby cousin Tracy got a brother and his girlfriend's black. What they gotta do with you, though? in the cloud. Heard it's not enough jobs for all the men in your house. Maybe we should build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. Or maybe we should send them all to the ghetto for now. I'm not racist. 
and I never lied, but I think it's a disconnect between your culture and mine. I worship the Einsteins, study the Steve Jobs, but you ride Tupac's dick like he was a fucking god, oh my god. And all you care about is rapping and stunting and being ratchet, and that's the nigga within you. Music right in your brain and slowly start to convince you, then you let your kids listen and then the cycle continues. Blame it all on the menu, blame it on those drinks, blame it on everybody except for your own race. Blame it on white privileges, blame it on white kids, and just blame it on white citizens, aim it to vice president. Class clowns, niggas nailed it on the field. That's a flag down. No, it's crazy how he rapping all this and just he's rapping it and explaining other people, another person, bruh. I can't wait to, bruh. He rapping exactly all the stuff that has been said over years. That multiple, you know, this black person, I know this black person, my cousin black, blah blah blah. It don't matter. Tupac was smart. Like, what? Like, he's rapping exactly what they say. Like, come on, bro. This, yo. How dare you try to make demands for this money? You gonna show us some respect. You gonna stand for this country, nigga. Ooh, wait a minute. He put it with the ER on the end. Whoa. What? Mmm. I'm just prepared for this type of war. I heard Eminem's rap at the awards. Who's he fighting for? Y'all can take that motherfucker too. He ain't white no more. It's like you want to be so famous. You'll do anything for attention and a little payment. I can't take you nowhere without people pointing fingers. Pants hanging off your ass. You ain't got no home training. Put your fucking pants up, nigga. Put that suit back on. Take that do rag off. Take that coat out your mouth. Quit the pitiful stuff. And then maybe police will stop killing you. Fuck you. See? There it is. You're already judging us by... Our culture, our do rag, take all your tattoos, take all this, take out the grills out your mouth, take out this, take out that, bruh. You judging of all our culture, you saying we gonna get? That's how they saying it. Like we'll get shot because of that. Like that's how you. That's how y'all be feeling. Like no cap. That's how they. That's how they be feeling. That shit crazy. He explained. Come on, boy. He's explaining it to me. What the fuck? I'm not racist. It's like we're living in the same building, but splitting the two floors. I'm not racist. But there's two sides of every story. I wish that I knew yours. I wish that I knew yours. I'm not racist. That's crazy, bro. I swear. Disrespect, I don't really like you, white motherfuckers. That's just where I'm at. Screaming, all lives matter is a protest to my protest. What kind of shit is that? And that's one war you'll never win. The power in the word nigga is a different sin. We shouldn't say it, but we do, and that's just what it is. But that don't mean that you can say it just because you got nigga friends. Nigga, that word was originated for you to keep us under. And when we use it, we know that's just how we greet each other. And when you use it, we know there's a double meaning under. And even mm. if I wasn't picking cotton physically, that don't mean I'm not affected by the history. But Big facts. Just because we wasn't picking cotton physically don't mean we haven't been affected because we have. Literally. Like, it's still here. You can see it in the world. You can see everything going on. We have been affected literally. Like, y'all y'all think, like, just because, oh, we wasn't picking cotton. Bro, y'all still treat us the same way almost, the same way. We just don't, we just, it's just illegal to whoop us and make us go out there and pick cotton. It's the same thing. Y'all still treat us the same almost. Come on, stop playing. My grandmama was a slave. That shit gets to me, and you ain't got no motherfucking sympathy, you pussy nigga. I'm sorry, you can never fail my life. I'm trying to have faith, but I never fell all right. It's hard to elevate when this country's ran by whites, judging me by my skin color and my blackness. Trying to find a job, but ain't nobody call me back yet. Now I gotta sell drugs and put food in my cabinet. You crackers ain't slick. This is all a part of your tactics. Don't talk about no motherfucking taxes. But I ain't making no dough. You think you know everything, but you don't. You want to copy our slang and everything that we know. Try to steal black culture and make it your own. Well, Big facts. Y'all damn sure do on everything, boy. Every time we do something, people be trying to copy it. Not saying, hey, man, if y'all want to copy it, hey, just be honest. Just don't lie. Don't lie about what you're doing. Be straight up. If you want to be like us, it's okay. But I got love for everybody. You can't be saying that. You feel me? That don't even sound right. Like. What he's speaking is facts, man. Come on. Oh, 
Fuck, I'm exhausted. I can't even drive without the cops trying to start shit. I'm tired of this systematic racism bullshit. All you do is false shit. This the shit that I'm false with. And you don't know shit about my people. That's what bothers you. You don't know about no fried chicken or no barbecue. You don't know about the two-step or no loose change. You don't know about no two chains or no Kool-Aid. You don't know. And even though The Rock was half as black, you hated President Obama. I know that's a fact. You can't wait to get him out and put a cracker back. And then you gave us Donald Trump and that was payback for that. I'm not racist. I never lied, but I noticed a disconnect between your culture and mine. Yeah, I praised Tupac like he was a fucking god. He was fighting for his life way before he fucking died, nigga, die, nigga. And all you care about is money and power and being ugly. And that's the cracker within you. Hatch it all in your brain and slowly start to convince you. Then you teach it to your children until the cycle continue. Blame it on Puerto Rico. Blame it on OJ. Blame it on everybody except for your own race. Blame it on black niggas and blame it on black citizens. Aim at the black businesses. I ain't saying I'm innocent, but... Might be any day now. Listen, not gonna cap like he just said. Racism isn't learned, man. You grow and you race it and you taught it and then you teach it to your kids and then your kids learn it. So you can't blame everybody, but he, like he said, you teach it your kids and your kids learn it. Mad because we praise this person because he was fighting for his life and all this. Like, bro, don't worry about our culture, man. Worry about yourself. Shoot. Treating everybody how you want in any way how I swear North Korea about to bomb us any day now And now I'm ducking every time I hear a fucking play now Shit You know I make a lot of sense but you just can't admit it When Eminem went against Trump that was the illest Cause even though he's white he let us know he's standing with us I'm not racist But I cry a lot You don't know what it's like to be in a frying pot You don't know what it's like to mind your business and get stopped by the cops And I know if you about to die or not you worry about your life, so you take mine. I love you, but I fucking hate you at the same time. I wish we could trade shoes and we could change lives so we can understand each other more, but that'll take time. I'm not racist. It's like we living in the same building, but splitting to both sides. I'm not racist. But there's two sides of every story, and now you know mine. Can't erase the scars with a bandage. I'm hoping maybe we can come to an understanding. Agree to disagree, we can have an understanding. I'm not racist. You wanna Lucas? Bro, you you be you did it again, man. Keep doing your thing, dog. Much love, much love to you, man, and everything you do, man. Cause you gonna well, you gonna be one of the greatest, man. I ain't gonna lie, you going down in history, man. Uh I thank you for that. Thank you for that message, man. Made me feel a little bit better. And maybe it be another clear message for people around the world, man. People in history to know, man. Like, you got to make a change, man. You feel me? I got to get up out of here, man. I got to get up, get straight to business, man. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. So you already know, man. Drop your comments below. Drop your likes, subscribes, all that good stuff, man. Original link to the video will be down in the description below. Easy, man. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, man. And it's your boy, Mr. Waste himself. You dig what I'm saying? Doing it and doing it good. You dig? Ain't it obvious? I just got the check for deposit it. 750 for the sound wave to get it processed. Won't stop till that shit. Weighing down my pockets. My main thing's still my main thing.